What does this say about Baker? Well, what it says is that he's not liked and there are people in the league looking for an excuse to dislike him. Because clearly, based on the video, Richard Sherman had no business to say what he said, that Baker Mayfield didn't shake his hand. Everything else he may have said, he could have had a legitimate point. But now that's diluted by the fact that clearly he made an error and, and, and basically used that as an excuse to say what he really, really wanted to say about Baker Mayfield. Now, me personally, I like Richard Sherman. I appreciate his level of intellect. He's a brilliant brother. He's accomplished a lot of great things. I've talked to him and interviewed him on several times in the past. I love the guy personally. But it almost was laughable for him to call out Baker Mayfield when you consider the fact that Richard Sherman was the guy that once got in the face of Tom Brady. Richard Sherman was the guy that's called out receivers. Richard Sherman was the guy, don't let me get don't get me started on how he called out Michael Crabtree, called him a trash receiver on national television and all of this other stuff. I mean he, mediocre. He, he did mediocre, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mediocre, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mediocre, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, mediocre to, to, Which is to Aaron Andrews. That yes. means trash. That's, that's right. You know, I'm saying that's what he said. That's what he said. I'm just saying, considering how he has intact antagonized people in the past, you would think he'd like Baker Mayfield as opposed to dislike him. But in the end, what it comes down to is that that's not the case. And when you see what he said, you know how sometimes folks just look for an excuse, mm -hmm. anything, any little nugget that they can find to really say what they want to say about you and what they really feel about you. If mm -hmm. Richard Sherman had said what he said about Baker Mayfield without bringing up the handshake issue, yeah. There would be no issue. We'd be looking at Baker Mayfield because we'd be like, look, man, this is yet another dude that don't like the way that you have been crowned, per se, figuratively speaking, without having done a damn thing in the league yet. That's probably their problem with him, the endorsement deals. Every time you turn on your TV, you see a different commercial with Baker Mayfield, and you're like, this brother hasn't done anything yet but throw 22 interceptions in 18 starts. The problem is, is that he brought up the handshake, which was a false story, and he brought that up to use it as an excuse. So what, to answer the question, bottom line is, what does this tell you about Baker Mayfield? There are people out there who dislike him so much that some might even be willing to make up a story just to get their point across, to highlight and illuminate the fact that they don't like him, <laughs> which means that Baker Mayfield, you better step out on the field and produce. Otherwise, mm -hmm. people are going to have legitimate reasons to come at you the way Richard Sherman illegitimately came yeah, Before I even talk about Baker Mayfield, I got to say something about Richard Sherman. I usually give people the benefit of the doubt because I'm thinking, like, why would you just lie out your face like that, especially when there are cameras everywhere? It's verifiable. Like, people can find out if you're telling the truth or not. So my first reaction is usually to think, look, people's memories are imperfect. What mm. you can remember is a snub. It might have happened after the game. And you're fired up. And then you're talking at the press conference, and you're like, oh, he didn't even dap me up before, the, you know, nothing before the game. What's up? You're supposed to shake hands, be a man. And then maybe you realize five minutes later, wait a minute, he did. At some point. Yeah, right. he shook my hand before the game. Here's the problem for, for, for uh, Richard Sherman. He was so specific in his language when he said it. He said, you're supposed to shake hands before the game. Like, he specified that moment. And then when he was kind of busted, he was like, let's, you know, forget about that. I've moved on. Remind me of that scene in Friday. Remember when he, when Smokey was following, and he said, he said, we need to stick together. Why? Are you, like all of a sudden, Richard Sherman is changing. Why are you guys making a big deal of this? No, no, Richard Sherman, you made a big deal of this. Nevertheless, what Stephen A. said, he you're meant right. the handshake after. Yeah, he just yeah, said yeah. the wrong. Handshake. But you're right about Richard Sherman. I think the impulse underneath is whatever you want to say about Sherman got in this guy's face, that guy's face. Look at Sherman's resume. It's unimpeachable. It is Stanford, Pro Bowl. All pro, multiple times, Super Bowl. Everyone shut up. Like, he, like at, at a certain point, you could say what you want. And what he's saying, I think, you know, game recognize game. He's like, well, maybe I have this attitude, but look at the level at which I'm operating. This dude has that attitude toward me that I don't see. He's not, he's not, where's the Pro Bowls? Where's the all pro? Where's the Super Bowl? Before you start coming out your face like that. So, yeah. so I agree with that sentiment, Stephen A. Well, Rich is my guy, right? And, and everybody in San Francisco was really excited on Twitter because they were, because he asked me, he's like, yeah, it was a little different, RC, when, when we beat the Bucks, and now that the Bucks beat the Rams, it's this big deal. So he's my dude. And I met Rich his rookie year on the lawn at the Pro Bowl. And that year, Brandon Browner made the Pro Bowl, um, Earl Thomas made it, and I believe Cam made it as well as an alternate. 
and he walks up to me. He had, I think he had four interceptions. He ended up starting later on in the season, and he's like, I'm going to be here next year. Yeah, I'm the one that didn't make it, but I'm telling you, I'm going to be here next year. And I didn't take it as cocky or arrogant or any of those things. I took it as this dude is confident. He understands what type of player he is and what type of player he could be, and he's always kind of have that chip. But whether it was getting uh, slapped in the face mask or slapped in the face by Trent Williams after the game, the Crabtree thing that you bring up, also getting in Tom Brady's face, uh, Rich was kind of like this type of irritant. He was a very Baker Mayfield-like personality. Now, I do believe he had respect for the game, respect for people who played it before him, which I think was the reason we had the conversation because at that time he saw LOB uh, Legion of Boom ended up being like we were in Pittsburgh. So I really appreciated that. But now you look at this situation, it's not only players that don't like Baker Mayfield. Marcus Spears is my dude. We went to school together, and he didn't probably didn't get to see the entire video before speaking on Baker Mayfield, but he went off on Get Up last, uh, yesterday morning. Reason being is Baker has eliminated himself from receiving the benefit of the doubt from anyone. And so people who didn't see this video because Richard Sherman has done all these things, you immediately believe that Baker Mayfield was capable of doing something like this. And I believe it is, his, it is his personality, but he's wanted to build this Cleveland versus everybody thing. He's wanted to build that I'm loyal to my people and my people only. So this is part of it. People are going to come for you. And the one thing I'll say is this. Like, I've never been scared of a mad quarterback. Mad quarterbacks don't, don't scare me. Quarterbacks or attitudes don't scare me. Reason, by, reason being because there's level of tough guy to this game. Quarterbacks ain't tough dudes. But when you upset a Nick Bosa, when you upset a Richard Sherman, people that hunt, kill, and destroy for a living, Nick Bosa's it only like night of the living yeah, dead the way he's coming after the quarterback. Right, it only Couldn't intensifies that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.